The McElroy brothers are not experts, and their advice should never be followed. Travis insists he's a sexpert, but if there's a degree on his wall, I haven't seen it. Also, this show isn't for kids, which I mention only so the babies out there will know how cool they are for listening. What's up, you cool baby? One, two, three, four. It's the start of something beautiful. A small acquaintance has blossomed and ripened into a precious friendship. It feels like It's better, it's better with you My life It's better, it's better with you This is true It's better, it's better with two My life It's better with you Hello everybody <laughs> My brother made a vibe show from the modern era. I'm your oldest brother, Justin McElroy. I'm, I'm walking on air. What up, Trav Nation? I'm your middleest brother, Travis McElroy. Woof, woof. Hi, Trav Nation. It's Griffin McElroy. Come with us. You all thought it was done. On our bus. <laughs> it smells weird, but not that you can put a finger on. <laughs> You to guys, a world you of were like pure cat cat dictation. <laughs> <laughs> you all at home were like, "Oh yeah, the Macroy brothers." Now that Wonka's out, they saw it. They went. That's done. Wonka's done. Well, well, is it because is it? a br- it is? It's so great with as bad as the news is always. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Every once in a while, a headline will pop up that's like, "Hey, J man, you do need to know about this one." <laughs> Yeah, and I I am happy that the algorithm saw fit to uh to send this our way. This uh Griffin, tell me about the Willy Wonka's chocolate experience in Glasgow. What well, first of all, Justin, you fucking numb numb skull. It's not Willy Wonka's chocolate experience. It's Willy's chocolate experience. Right. The Willy featured in the Willy featured in this chocolate experience is not Willy Wonka, and they cannot be any clearer about that. It's Willy McDuff chocolate magnate. <laughs> See, um, I thought it was will he chocolate experience because it's a question of will you specifically look, me will Travis chocolate experience and the answer is no. Eh, automations coming for us, uh-huh. okay? Yeah, it's coming for us. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna get. That's all I'm gonna say about that, except to say that oversight is overdue and. Probably not going to happen. So I think it falls on us to determine uh-huh. what is okay for AI to do. Sure. Right. Swindling people, not it. Swindling no, a bunch of art. people. Swindling people, yeah, that's leave the swindling to the humans. Yeah, please. only humans can really swindle. Listen, swindling, AI can scam. AI yeah. can scam. You can scam. It can hoodwink. Can, but it can't can flim. It can't flim flam. Cannot flim flam. Flim flam is a human endeavor. I'm going to say. Just to put this on the list, I think videos of Will Smith eating spaghetti, specifically, only, specifically, only, and it can't be too good. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's okay. And coming up with Willie, Mc, Willie McDuff fan fiction, Willy Wonka side side chapters, uh, extended cuts, absolutely. It, it, you can go nuts with that, man. Let it ride. Don't do anything bad with it, but AI, seal of approval. Okay, that one's, on that that one. one's AI's. I think maybe there's people who don't follow Wonka based news as closely as we do. Right. Oh, and all we've, the sort of, set up. we've sort of run run screaming into their house, screaming about Wonka, which they should be comfortable with at this point. We've done it so many times. They, they opened the door. Like we don't make our podcast appear. <laughs> they yeah. they clicked the button. They said, Come in, tell me whatever you want to. Now there was a there was a event <laughs> there was a, lo- a event held in Glasgow. And it was largely Wonka based, and it was yeah. completely AI generated um, from the key art, which ended up sort of selling a bit of a false bill of goods vis a vis a world of pure imagination, mm-hmm. uh, while also promising things like uh, Karchi tons and Exarcer Day lollipops and a pass of dice of sweet teats. Sorry, I have. To... <laughs> Sorry, one more time. <laughs> Sorry, what was that uh, last? I'll go ahead and I can. I just wait one sec. Uh, allow me. A pass of dice of sweet teats. Now, 
Hey, I, are you drunk? So the the experience, the website is incredibly colorful. The robots have done an excellent job. And then- Sure. Yeah, so they've really some, captured Lisa yeah. Frank in a cage and squeezed her weird blood out to make the problem, these images. The problem is when they demonstrate the Twilight Tunnel in this ad, this is when the problems start to appear. You yeah. see a tunnel- lit with candles and that's very good and then trav king are you able to make out what says there at the bottom uh yeah so oh god okay mm. lot <laughs> lighten dim dim, dim tight dim, dim tight uh-huh <laughs> Uh, these are different color palettes you can see in the twilight just to walk you through so, all right you guys don't really follow ai stuff as closely as i do let me walk you through sort of some of the heuristics that this this particular program was running through is that it wanted you to know what colors you were going to see when you went to this attraction at the willy wonka experience called twilight tunnel right uh-huh. and so it provides a, a list of color palettes at the bottom which include labels like diffractions and ungrivel <laughs> and pretty and, 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 and pretty <laughs> Impressive. And then underneath it says unexpected twits. Yeah, unexpected in that twits one you'll see lots it. of unexpected twits. Now um, this, look this, out for the angling sounds. <laughs> this image is really the superstar. Oh boy! Tra- yeah. Trav, now describe this one for me, Trav. So this is if if you combine um um the like ringleader MC dude from Moulin Rouge. Uh-huh. And one yeah. of the horrifying um, clockwork uh, things from the the uh, the Madame Pompadour episode of Doctor Who, you've got that main guy there. Yeah, right. sure. And there's now, uh, weird candy all around. But the thing that gets me the most sure. is the image upon his giant lollipop stick. Yeah, what is that? Because in one hand, he has a cane. Okay. In the other hand, a giant lollipop. He's, two, he's double fisting, walking utensils yeah, yeah. here. And on the lollipop appears to be... A bat. Well, yeah, what I can only describe is grown up Vampirina. Yeah. yeah. Th- that's also worth noting that the bear has a butt for a, a front. It, it does have uh, a front butt that is cool. correct. AI is so I, AI is so nasty. It's, it's <laughs> a trav. So the, uh, the bottom the it promises uh some of the things. Oh you my can god. Expect. What is, can you tell me what we can expect? Well, here? there's there's live performances. There's that's yeah. good. Okay, there's... I will say the M on performances does... They did give that one an oh, extra hump. Yeah, there's a little jazz on cool. that one. Pat... <laughs> Cacusating... Karchi tunes. Yeah. <laughs> Exarcer... Exarcer Dre lollipops? And yeah. as Griffin described, a pasadise of sweet teas. <laughs> yeah. It's all right there. This this clearly was fed the paragraph that is presented to the right, which is written with no typos. And it's maybe maybe sometimes they make the AI do the stuff too fast. Yeah. They're like, AI, I need pictures of Willy Wonka on my desk pronto. And it's like, pronto, okay. I haven't it. finished sh- booting up yet. I, I, I haven't even read this whole thing. Okay, let me get out my stenographer's keyboard. Did I say sweet teats? Fuck, they're going to be so mad at I don't have a backspace key. They didn't program that one in. I like that they that they fed it captivating entertainment and yeah. it, the ai was like got it so at the top of the banner says enshrining entertainment and then it just says categating <laughs> the, the ai Cat-gating. is drunk and playing yeah. telephone with god exactly. knows what okay but that listen would be, if it was just that web page we would all be delighted. we wouldn't be talking about it on the show listen we understand everybody's talking about this. There's a but there's a there's so many layers deeper. I feel like making typos is like the least hysterical thing that happened here. Well, the least hysterical thing that happened here is many hardworking families were uh hoodwinked out of their money. Although yes. apparently they have been refunded that, but you blew a kid's weekend afternoon with um, that. So, so that's that is no the thing good. I will tell you now as a parent, getting the money back, amazing. What you're not gonna get back is all the questions that child has upon walking in and you've been building up, we're going to a chocolate experience and then the child walks in and is like, oh man, this is actually, I can pinpoint now when my childhood ended and it was right now. Thank you, Willie McDuff. Yeah, it's right here when you walk in and you see uh, it's a gigantic warehouse that just has some scattered fake 
Willy Wonka decorations around it. Um, uh, we were <laughs> Trav. Every kid there <laughs> got a quarter cup of lemonade and a single jelly bean. <laughs> yeah. Well, Juice, if I could read, from, can I read from the script? Because I I could provide some context. Uh, oh, of Griffin, yeah, this, I would love that. Thank you. So there's a, a, a script that the AI wrote also for this experience, which uh, the actors who per- performed here. Can we here. doff our caps for a moment? I've seen some images of the people forced to work as Oompa Loompas, or I believe as they would be called at this event, Jompa Lompas or whatever. <laughs> yeah, like, sure. they do not, they're yeah, yeah. going through it. They no, are they're all, everybody in these... the ink of their acting degree in their mouth as they <laughs> work this no, event. No one's having a awesome time here except for me reading the script because the ai wrote a script okay i'm gonna just read a little excerpt of it willie mcduff beckoning the guests inside now who among you dares to taste the fruits of our imagination step right up and prepare for a flavor adventure unlike any other the guests eagerly approach a table laden with the described sweets each picking their choice with a mix of excitement and trepidation guest one trying the soup flavored jelly bean it's like Dinner in a dessert. Astonishing. Guest two, braving the boogerberry bean. Oh, wow. It's oddly gorgeous. How is that possible? Laughter and surprise exclamations fill the room as the guests indulge in the whimsical treats. This kicks ass. Wait. Yes. If we're going to come up with a a script for this experience that provides lines to the audience of the experience, that's some next level stuff, man. Okay, Do they I, get I have some punch up. I have some punch up though on this line. Yeah. When you're worried about, for within these ancient walls lurks a tale not yet told of an evil chocolate maker known only as the unknown. Yes, the awesome. unknown is a villain. The AI looked at it is like, it's got to have a villain in Willy Wonka. That's the problem. Yeah. Slug Wars pretend. How yeah. about this? The unknown. Then yeah. the next line. Trav, tell you, yeah, please. The, this fiendish foe has long coveted one of my most cherished <laughs> creations, <laughs> the anti-graffiti gobstopper. <laughs> the, a marvel of confectionery science. Designed to aid, oh, not just any soul, but the tireless guardians of cleanliness, our beloved moms, and yes, dads too, but especially moms, (laughs) from the endless scourge of dirty socks strewn about by youthful adventures. You know how when you think of graffiti, (laughs) graffiti. you think of moms picking up dirty socks. Uh, okay. I did want to show, I have, Trav, just to, if you're curious how that all worked out, uh, I do, let me check all these darn tabs. That's a lot oh, of tabs. Uh, wow. Well, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> God, no. Describe the unknown, please. Describe what? the unknown. The unknown is oh. wearing um horrifying metallic, like one of those blank masks. Yeah, yeah, But yeah. it's metallic, and with... A, a, a wig that's seen some shit. A yeah. wig, this is not this wig's first performance. Travis, they live in the walls of Willie McDuff's chocolate factory. Can you cut them a break? Yeah, but they're supposed to be a uncut? villain, and I immediately pity <laughs> the unknown so much. Yeah, abs- yeah. absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, there is a picture here uh, that just came by of Pete Davidson and the unknown together on a walking <laughs> date, which was quite nice. That's great. Uh, <laughs> Actually, we, that's all all right. love the, we all love the unknown. Trav, here's just a few more images from it. Oh my God. <laughs> it's like a wall with a picture of a candy house printed on it. Okay, I want to uh, talk about that for a second because I saw that okay. image. It's like one of those like AI generated screen printed like backdrop step and repeat kind of thing. And I th- of all the other stuff that happened in this, I want to give this one the benefit of the doubt that they like myself ordered something online without doing any <laughs> research except the yeah. moment you're like, "Oh, that works." And you order it. And then that comes, there must have come a moment. This thing is maybe 30% the scale it needed to be to cover this wall. So there must have been a point, because AI, so far, can't tape things to walls. There must have been a moment where this- Or, 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 write coherent Willy Wonka fan fiction. Yes, so there must have come a moment where human beings pinned that to the wall, taped it to the wall, took a step back and said, are we just gonna leave it like that? Is that, 
and we're we every, this we're is what we're this, doing. Right? This is it, okay. right? And we're just gonna let people in here still. So here's what I'm si- excited about. Yeah. Willie's Chocolate Experience too. They're gonna have worked out so much of this stuff. Like Absolutely, they too. are. The next time they do it, Willie McDuff will ride again. Tanacon yeah. two, Firefest two, Willie, Willie's Chocolate Experience of the Mind. Um, ooh, ooh. Uh, I do want to mention. I wanted to mention also in the script, and this is amazing. But in the script that the computer made, uh. It has cues for the audience too. Yeah, I noticed that. It yeah. has things like the audience chatter quiets down, their attention captured by the change in Willy Wonka's tone or Willy's tone and intriguing darkness ahead. So that's awesome. what they have to do. That's what the uh, uh, the audience murmurs affirmatively, a mix of excitement and nervous anticipation in the air. Yeah, no, I mean, I brought this up <laughs> earlier. I think it's, I think maybe everybody receives a program like when you go to a Catholic church and sometimes they're like, oh. listen, we know you're not gonna, you don't necessarily know how to rock with all this stuff. We do yeah. like a ton, we do a ton of shit here. You guys need um, to show up for rehearsal and that's fine. Yeah, yeah. They put it in bold so you know. You know, you're not Willie McDuff or the unknown, so you should know that all the other lines are basically going to fall on you. There is a there is a bubble in Lemonade Room. That's yeah. why they get the lemonade in the script. The script came up with bubble in Lemonade Room, which um, in the summertime is my whole house. Yeah, a bubble in Lemonade Room. Um, I will say this about the Willy Wonka experience: it, it still looks better than the aquarium in Austin. So we <laughs> holy shit, have. juice shots fired, <laughs> shots fired. Shots fired at that former Coles that is now a, <laughs> a, 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 aquarium, a hospice a, a hospice facility for very sick turtles and fish and sometimes lemurs. This is a this is an aquarium that will let you buy a bag of food for any animal you want and then not monitor what you do with that food. It is left up <laughs> to your just own one devices. Food for all the animals? Are you sure, Doc? <laughs> <laughs> you can buy fish. We're all they- carbon-based life forms at some point. We're all basically eating the same stuff. You can buy fish to give to the birds, then walk to the fish and put the fish in with the uh, the live fish. There, yeah. no one is, no one is, no checking. one gives a shit, it's man. The, one time I saw, wild. one time I saw a big turtle there upside down, <laughs> and I was like. You're done. No one is ever going to get around to you, my They had a mermaid doing face paint that I'm still not sure was an employee. Hell yeah, one time I saw Elsa there. What the (laughs) fuck? Are you sure? You know, known animal per, you know how that's the whole deal with Elsa? She, She hangs out with animals, right? That's her power? Listen, I think AI, maybe, we look a, we look at the list of things that we are going to allow AI to do as the AI adjudicators, as the AI oversight panel, and say, sort of coming up with ideas for small businesses and how to execute those ideas uh, is not on the list. That's not good, actually. Yeah, we can you mark that one off and move on to the next one, midwifery. We're going to see how oh. that one goes with AI. Probably not so great. Yeah, yeah but you got to test new stuff. You do have to test Perfect. it. Right? Try. This is you the AI oversight try. panel. We have to do that stuff. I hate AI. So the list is ongoing. Will Smith Spaghetti. Harmless Willy Wonka fan fiction. Not Blue Sky Solutioneering uh, how to run an aquarium. Yeah. Right. And probably not midwifery, but we'll check back on that. Uh, this is an advice show still, and our advice is to listen to our advice. Yeah. Whoa. Get him. Whoa. I invited a girl to go ice skating this Saturday, but I do not know how to skate. It's a childhood dream, but I've never been able to realize it because I live in a fucking desert. I really want to impress her. How do I learn to skate without access to ice until Saturday? We're going at the earliest available session of the ice rink that just opened. That's February off ice. <laughs> I, um, Fort, that's yeah. a bad idea. <laughs> Going ice skating in general is a yes. bad I Yes. Yeah. Why yeah. Okay. Inviting someone on an ice skating date when you don't ice skate. It's what? romantic. It, I will it's say a this. romantic. If you're someone who loves ice skating, cool, man. Good for, I'm so happy for you. This isn't for you. I get it. My daughter, I saw this play out in real time this, this, this winter. My seven-year-old was like, all I want to do, all I want to do, daddy, let's go ice skating. Let's go ice oh. skating, she said. And so I took her ice skating. She was on the ice for 0.5 seconds and said, yeah. oh, I don't want to do, I don't want to do no. this anymore. Because once she got there, she realized the inherent danger, the yeah. unforgiving nature of ice. Ice. Yeah. And 
just basically the steep, steep learning curve that is ice skate. Because in order to learn how to ice skate, you kind of have to let go of your attachment to the mortal world. You yeah. have to convince yourself of like, I don't care what happens to my body right. uh, for the next hour while I do this. Because even in a best case scenario and you don't fall down, you will not feel good afterwards. Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. There are angles, joints, tendons you will use that you've never used before in your life. No. Your body will cry out for I, relief. I took Rachel on an ice skating date for uh, our wedding anniversary here in, in D.C. And we a lot, we watch a ton of hockey. And so like part of me is like, certainly through osmosis, I will have picked up something. But then I put those big boots on that knife stop boots. at the yeah. the knife boots yeah. that stop at the wrong point on your leg and then got out there and could not even stay upright because of my little tiny sweet bird ankles that I've got um and so then she just sort of did a few solo laps while I watched from the sidelines like you got it baby woo and what Going will so also happen is somehow every other human being there will fall into one or two categories either lightning just zipping around, flying yeah. past you, spinning yeah. you around like some sort of goofy-esque cartoon character trying to learn uh -huh. to skate, or the other ones who constantly seem to be hurling themselves in front of you, making yeah. you have to avoid um, manslaughter. There should be two rinks. There should be two rinks, and there's one for fast. Um, yeah. One for fast and one for falling. Yeah. Yeah, and if you go on the falling one, you're going to get run into a lot, but- if you run into anybody, it's okay, because you're at the falling rink. If they could set up somehow the equivalent of like bowling lane bumpers on the falling rink, where there's, yes. there's ice, but there's also two feet of foam <laughs> above it, that would be ideal for me. The, this whole, the whole skating thing. Yeah, go wow. off, King. I will, thank you. The whole skating thing is nonsense. Thank you. Here's okay. the deal with skating, okay? All yeah. skating. All okay? skating? All skating. Ice not, roller inline skateboarding because that's got attitude, but every other kind of skating. Also, I think you're probably more afraid of you're afraid of offending skateboarders more than you are inline skaters. Yeah, if Have I'm you guessing. seen those guys? Have you yeah, seen those bad. fucking so guys? Cool. Uh, no, but here's the thing about it: a um, hundred years ago, it, nothing was fun, and uh -huh. there wasn't anything that was fun. Right? If they yeah. had gone to the Wong K experience a hundred years ago, they would have been losing. They their didn't mind. have that. They didn't have TV. They didn't have maybe radio. But like they didn't have anything fun, right? So if you wanted to do something fun, like you could be just standing there and be like, I I'm gonna die. <laughs> I don't have something <laughs> fun to do. And someone's like, Well, if you're extremely desperate, one dumbass thing you could do is put wheels on your feet and roll your ass down a hill. Fuck yeah. off. That's no. stupid. I don't want to do that. I'm not that desperate for fun. I got a phone and a TV. Yeah. Maybe two TVs if I'm allowed to brag for a moment. Skating is that is the only reason we came with skating is we couldn't find anything fun. Same with bicycles. Okay, we have wow. cars now. Don't need bicycles anymore. Okay. okay well, what else? Hey, okay, Joseph that was overstepping. I'm realizing yeah, that one. skating. I feel really good about. Okay, my, no, no. You had the point. You had the point. You maybe kids, stepped out of bounds for a no, moment. I We're gonna have to bring you back retracting. in. I'm not doing the classic Justin dig in. I will. I will see. It. I I got a little bit greedy. I bikes bikes are good. I get the idea. But like skating, it's just dangerous because nothing used to be fun. And now things are fun, so yeah. we don't need to skate anymore. Back in the day, we had to do stuff to get brave for war. Yeah. <laughs> like you, and Griffin. skating is it's one a, of those yes. skating's one of those things. Skating was invented by the government to make us brave for war. Um yeah. but I don't I don't that's not my reality. And so I don't uh I don't feel good without the terra firma beneath these two I, pegs of mine. I will also say uh, a thing like ice skating where there's numerous times in movies, TV, stories, books, where somebody falls through the ice and that's a big dramatic point in a thing. And mm -hmm. then we see that and we think, and you know what I want to do on a date? That. Right? Yeah. No. It's hard to hard to have a conversation, get to know somebody on a date when you're what ice skating it? around and trying not to die. Yeah, and holding hands for support. Oops, no, wait, that's incredibly I don't romantic. I think this person needs to be 
reaffirmed that they made a bad choice. They're saying, yeah. look, I made a bad choice. Help me fix it. Okay. I said that thing about holding hands. And actually, the last time I went ice skating, I remember the thought that crossed my mind as soon as I was slip sliding away was no one touch me. <laughs> Nobody try and touch me right now. I'm a big man. You. My worry is I start going down. I'm pulling whosoever arm I'm holding with Absolutely me. Absolutely. Going, they're going with me or they're losing that arm. It's one of those it, two things. The only gambit you have here unfortunately i think is to fake sick on day of the day text oh. can't do it can't ice skate today um i don't want to go into it too deep but you could also construct stuff. yourself a pretty sick assist like g- g- get some pvc pipe bro what? Put, to help you skate well okay i was going more with like a thing to help you stand up but now This might, a robot, a skating robot, you say. Let me hit Hmm. you with this. Let me hit you with this. Even say it in the microphone. Just mix it up. (laughs) Let me hit you with this. Okay. Pee-wee's Christmas special. Uh You are going to step out there in your skates, and you're going to have a big puffy coat and a big hat on that is kind of covering up your appearance. And your date is going to be like, you ready to go? And you'll be like, oh, yep, hold on. I have toilet stuff. And then you dip out. And then a professional. Who's that coming out? It's Michelle Kwan. And Michelle Kwan is dressed in the same outfit you're wearing. Yes. And Michelle Kwan does like everything, man. All of her classic shit. And then uh, skates off the ice. And you have to have Michelle Kwan yell, more toilet stuff, <laughs> as she runs to the bathroom. You come back out. And it's you now. Did I? And and wait, then and I then I they're put, like, wow, that's amazing. And you're like, yeah, but I can't do it again. Did I put the uh, skates on the first time? Before the first bathroom, did I put the skates on? <laughs> because I'm really worried that even that's not going to be plausible. Like yeah. I don't even know how to get to the bathroom. <laughs> you know? You're saying you're going, you can't commute. You can't. Okay, hold on. All right, hold on. So Juice is going <laughs> to put on his Michelle, skates. Michelle Kwan at the end of her skit has to take off the skates and be like, "Fuck trying to walk in these. No one can do it." And then she threw them on the ground. And she says, "And these are two. These are perhaps six sizes too big for me. Anyway, I don't know what I was yeah, thinking." That's cool. That could work. You could have a big person pick you up and take you to the bathroom, um, and then <sighs> that's probably, a, that's an probably option. carry you for maybe get a sedan. Kick Do you guys ever think about the Nagano Olympics where every, every other day um, yeah. I had to look up her name because it was so cool. But uh, her name was Surya Bonali, I believe, uh, Bonali, maybe, where she was skating and she was like she biffed some uh, of her moves and yeah. she knew she wasn't going to win. So she did a backflip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And landed on one skate. And I'm pretty sure that's like illegal. And they were like, I like, can't do that. Too cool. Yeah, That's yeah, so they're like cool. you can't do that. But it was so cool. She was like, "I know I'm not gonna win, so what? let yeah. me show you this cool thing <laughs> you know, I know how to do." Where are you allowed to do backflips in the world of sports? It's kind of shitty if you can't do. it I ice think it skating. sucks. Yeah, if you, you can't do football it football or, ba- or basketball or baseball, they get you for excessive celebrating flipping. Right? Yeah. Now, what if you? I mean, maybe if you were so mad that you did a backflip, they wouldn't get you for it. But I think even then, it's gonna be unsportsmanlike conduct. Did you yeah. know they're getting, scientists think we're getting close to the quintuple? People have, nobody's ever done a quintuple in ice skating. You do a quadruple, you do a triple. And they're like, for a long time, they're like, human beings cannot get the height and speed to do a quintuple. And now they're like, listen, they're getting real close. We think they're going to land the quintu- quintuple soon. I watched Yuri on Ice and I got real into it. And I was looking yeah. it up and watching videos of it. It's very exciting stuff, guys. I, it would be cool to accidentally do a sextuple. And then be like, I don't know how I, I don't know, like, I don't know what happened to me up there. I think there may have been uh, a, a bit of a, a small tornado in the room that did pick me up and make me do two extra spins. I don't know how to do five. Can't do five. Can't do five. You would get so dizzy. I feel like if you did a quintuple, you would black out from G-Force. I think yeah. you would have to hover for a second. There would have to be a moment where people would be like, huh. And then you come down just enough that they're like, that didn't see. He seemed to freeze in air while he spun. Oh, oh, it landed. You whoa. know what sucks about ice skating? What, Griffin? What, Griffin? You Except can't for all do the a, things we've already outlined. You can't do a backflip and they'll say, like, no point. Too cool. No points. Yeah. If I get out there and I jump in the air and I spin around five times and land unconscious or dead <laughs> from the G forces, I'm not going to win the gold medal for that. 
There has to be That's a, bullshit. There ha- I get that there's like a rubric and you have to follow the rubric, even though sometimes they definitely don't, to, to keep things fair for everyone. I think if someone gets out there and does a backflip or does a quintuple and passes out or dies from the G-force, you have to be able to come together as a judging panel and be like, that's a gold. If we don't give that the gold medal, like what are we what all we do? doing? What because are we, what are we here's, doing here? here's what would be amazing if that if that became a stated on the books rule. You would see somebody start their skate right and biff the first couple like moves, and they're yes. like, "Well, <laughs> hey guys, pay attention because I'm willing to bet he's going for it." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That would be great. The commentators would be like, okay, ooh, another blown Lutz. Do you think maybe this is the quintuple? <laughs> we Do we his, got the quintuple coming up? We see his family wildly gesticulating, saying, no, no, no. No, no don't. Oh, he's put his home. mouth guard in. He's it's, going for it. <laughs> he's, he's signed a DNR that his wife has. Uh, All right, produced. helmet on. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Everybody, wet the ice. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> no one look. He can't do it if we're looking. <laughs> Everyone, avert your eyes from the ice. He's calling for a Zamboni. He wants a full Zamboni before he tries it again. <laughs> He's taking a bony timeout. We got a bony timeout. Bring him in. Can I suggest? Did they ever do all the ice skaters try to get away from time. one with the Zamboni? <laughs> yeah, they did. Oh, that wait, where cool the Zamboni's like, chasing the ice skaters? Like, yeah, it's like a game where like one person has a Zamboni and there's a bunch of ice skaters and the Zamboni's trying to get the people. Yeah, just a yep. silly one. It's Welcome to Wild and Crazy Kids Olympics <laughs> edition. Um, can't do you guys remember those toys like a fairy princess mm-hmm. on a little stick and you would pull the rip cord and her wings would spin around really fast and she would fly up in the air like yeah, a yeah, helicopter. Yeah, hundred percent. Go into a fire and they stop and sometimes go into a fire delighting a nation. Yeah, what if ice skaters could have long sort of wings on their arms and then that way when they did a when they do a big spin in the air anything is possible that i is, i think that uh, once a skater knows they're gonna lose and they're not worried about getting disqualified we should have like the equivalent of rodeo clowns that come out and like maybe wrap a big string around them as griffin is suggesting and then pull as hard as they can to get him no spinning. no i'm not suggesting. oh sorry i thought <laughs> no. you were- Wait, well, hold on one second here. I'm just saying we rev them up <laughs> on like a Hot Wheels track and we let them go. Yeah, for sure. Um, should we go to the money zone? We just talked about ice skating a lot. For a yeah. Long time. A lot. Let's go to the money zone. Is that a Is that a movie? Squarespace. Okay. All right. Tell me more. I don't think I should have to. Wow. Yeah. Well, can you this try? Po- okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the thing about Squarespace, guys. It's an all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. What's that mean? That sounds like a bunch of gibberish to me. Well, let me mm-hmm. tell you what it means. It means it's all in one place. You don't need to uh, pull stuff from here. And go to this website to learn about this thing and build it all on this. But it's all in one place. And you're gonna sell socks there, or pants, or shirts, or gloves, or hats, Love all that stuff, mittens, or non-clothing items. You could do anything on this website. You can stand out, engage your audience, sell anything, even your time. Um, I've used Squarespace not only to build a, a tribute site to my dog Buttercup. Buttercup is a very good girl. dot com. But a lot of other stuff. I should probably stop pushing that because I haven't updated it in like eight years and I don't think it's the best showcase for everything (laughs) that Squarespace has to offer. A lot of problematic problematic content on Buttercup. Well, she has big ideas, you know, and sometimes the world's just (laughs) not ready. (laughs) Yeah, She was the first person to come up with looks maxing. Um, And listen, I don't know what that is. Don't, I don't. Don't talk about Mike. No, 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 no. So you can create pro-level videos effortlessly uh, with the Squarespace Video Studio app. Um, they also have Fluid Engine, which is a next generation website design system. And they even have member areas so you can uh, set up special stuff for the members of your website to get gated content like videos, online courses, and newsletters. So go to squarespace.com slash mybrother for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use offer code mybrother to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Yeah. I told just if anyone's listening, I don't endorse looks maxing. I can't stress that enough. Wow. Okay. I mean, self care cool. is good. I don't know. Okay. Now, I want to talk about ZocDoc because when I moved 
to across the country to our nation's pristine capital for Washington, a better life for your family for a better life for my family um i knew there were going to be certain things that i was going to have to replace in my life um or rebuild um things like any kind of social network or community here and that one I haven't done. But doctors, yeah. yes, check. Thanks to ZocDoc. Yeah. ZocDoc makes it wicked easy to find doctors for whatever the fuck you need them for. Well, no, hold on. I shouldn't say that. Yeah. If you, no. uh, they can't, um, I don't know, they can't give you like extra extra arms like a Dr. Octopus. Like, you don't know certain that. Wait, things. hold on. Do you know that? I guess not. No, I guess not. But no, if you need right. to find like uh, a doctor for an, another specific thing that is standard then zocdoc can do that for you i used it in dc to find a few different specialists and uh it's super easy it's a free app and website you can search and compare highly rated in-network doctors near you and instantly book appointments with them online um it's 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 wicked easy it's it's very complicated finding a doctor for a thing in a city like dc that like takes your insurance and uh has availability within the next eight months uh, and ZocDoc has been, no joke, the best way for, for me to do that. Uh, the typical wait time to see a doctor booked on ZocDoc is between just 24 to 72 hours. That's it. You can even score same-day appointments. I, I I can't recommend ZocDoc enough. Go to ZocDoc.com slash my brother and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find a book, a top-rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash my brother. ZocDoc dot com slash my brother. Max Fun Drive 2024. Max Fun Drive? What about it? It'll be the best time for someone to support the podcasts they love. Oh, yeah. Drive exclusive gifts, special events, and of course, all the amazing bonus, bonus content. content. Yeah. So, what's on your mind? Check. Well, it starts March 18th, and it's only two weeks long. And? Check. Well, what if they miss it? Well, they should follow Max Fun on social media or sign up for the newsletter at MaximumFun.org slash newsletter so they don't miss it. Otherwise, checkmate. Who guests on Jordan Jesse Go? I mean, we could just list Patton Oswald, Kumail Nanjiani, Maria Bamford, whatever. We couldn't remember all of them. So we asked my kids. Uh, famous people? How famous? I don't know. Pretty famous. Uh, uh, really tiny celebrities who would go on this train wreck instead of a, like a big talk show. <laughs> There's just a bunch of people on your show. <laughs> Jordan Jesse Go, a comedy show for grown ups. Can we go to the wizard's house? It's at the top of a mountain in the clouds. Yeah, I, left, I actually left my baseball glove there, so that would be great. You play baseball with the wizard? Sometimes, yeah. He's that, well, I never had a strong father figure in my life, and so it's just yeah. nice to play catch with someone who is proud of me no matter what. Yeah, and he can make the ball float telekinetically. It's so me, cool, like, and the ball good. screams the whole time. The um, ball can scream. Like, please don't do this. I used to be human, yeah. and this wizard cursed me. Yeah. And he'll do it to you, too, once he grows tired of you. Yeah. Um, just funny stuff like that that he makes it say. It's hysterical. Um, Brian sent this in. Thanks, Brian. It's how to compliment a song. We've definitely talked about this before, um, what to do when someone plays a song at you and how to respond to that. And now WikiHow is going to get a hand on this ball. Okay. Someone just sang or played you an amazing song, and you're absolutely awestruck. But how do you tell them that? How can you say that you... Oh, okay. So this is like the person is... They are making the music, not like mm. putting a song on something and saying, I just heard this song. They are I the think music. Like, yeah. Okay, got They it, are got the music makers. They are the, you music are the makers. dreamers of dreams. Yes. They are uh, not trying to I garden, don't define myself not, that way, Justin. Thank you, though. They're not trying to garden state you in a, a hospital waiting room. Um, so these are some really helpful prompts, dudes. And you can all use this. There's so many. It's exhaustive and exhausting. I really like the melody. Identify something praiseworthy in the song. I loved when you changed the tone. Mm. Dude, dude, that riff was incredible. Oh, um, none of those sounds sincere. Yeah. It might be your um, voice, though, Griffin. 
Do uh, do that riff. Dude, that riff was incredible. Oh, that's better. Could you do the one Dude, about the melody again? I loved when you changed the tone. I really like the melody. I think Did the melody sound? is the worst one. Yeah, the melody doesn't. The, melody you, is... the more specific you can get, like the I loved that four five one chord progression that you did. Was that a, a diminished, a D minor diminished nine? Oh, I, I like the favorite. weird face you made when you hit that high note. Yeah, um, I'm so honored you shared this with me. Ooh. Thank the artist for sharing oh. your song with you. Don't do you that. You didn't. You didn't have to share that. Thank so, you for thank trusting you. me. Yeah, that was so special. I'm grateful I got to hear it. Um, that what a be terrible cool. way to go. Don't do that one. Hey, thanks for sharing this with me. That's uh, something that like you would say after someone has trusted you with like uh, some kind of trauma that's happened to them. Not yeah. like, hey, listen to this song I wrote. Like, hey, that was yeah. very vulnerable of you. There is an undertone to, to that. There's an undertone to that. Like, that's clearly not ready for prime time. Yeah, you're so brave. So thank you. Thank you for being brave enough to share that with me. I really like it. It's so important that we all have the confidence to be terrible in front of our friends. And it means the world to me yeah. that you trust me with how awful you were at that. I, I feel like there's only one compliment that is actually effective and meaningful. And it's the one that you absolutely won't want to give. Which and, is? Which is, play it again. you gotta play another one. Yeah. You gotta play me something else. You gotta keep yeah. these good vibes going. Now keep the going. party alive, man. What are you doing? Yeah, exactly. If you if if the next words out of your mouth aren't, you gotta play, you gotta know more. You gotta yeah. have another one for me. They know exactly what the score is. Yeah. Like when my um, kids try the cake I made, and they're like, mm, delicious. And I'm like, you want a piece? They're like, nope. Nope. <laughs> I do not. You could also say like, oh, you know who's going to love this? My uncle, who's a big time record producer. Yes. That's, that's another huge mean? compliment. That's mean. Why would you lie about the big time record producer, uncle? Oh, no. I have an uncle who's a big time record producer. Okay. Yeah. Then why you is don't. my hit signal, why is my hit single party panda not a bigger smash? Well, Justin, I told you that before that he listened to it, he heard it, and he thought the world's not ready for it. He yeah. thinks that if <laughs> you play the party the panda. Song, that's the whole chorus. The world's not ready for the party panda, but here yeah. he comes irregardless. That no, was the he, whole. He agrees with you. He's worried that if you <laughs> unleash Party Panda on the he world, he gets it. I'm saying he gets it. Yeah, yeah. But I he, mean, he it, said he listens to it on his own every day, and everybody at his office at Big Time Records loves it. Okay. It's and Juice. I heard from him. It's huge in Switzerland. Yep. It is blowing up the Swiss garage scene. <laughs> like that is bizarre to me because of the third verse, which is just about his distrust of the Swiss. So yeah, loves no, the sure. irony. All right, okay, that makes sense. Hey guys, yeah. you light up a room. You light up a room when you sing. Express your admiration for the song and them. That melody will brighten even the darkest rooms. Want to play that? <laughs> want to play that at my wedding? Because it could never rain with that sunshine. Man, that's, was, that's with, a big swing, though, isn't it? With some of these. If someone I know says this to me, I'm like looking for sharp objects because we've got. I need to defend myself against the pod person. There is not. This is not a. a that's good not a actor. thing a human being says. Yeah, this I is like not a the. People. I like how it made the room physically brighter when you did that. It was a little bit dim in here, and it. I want to play that at my wedding because it could never rain with all of this sunshine that you've made I with your song, with your music. I, I got another it. one. No, thank you. <laughs> No, I'm good. No, I'm worried it would get too bright in here and I'd be blinded. Um, yeah. I, I, I don't know if you guys know this, but I, I did get my degree in acting from the University of Oklahoma, Boomer Sooner. I don't think I could deliver the line, I want to play this song at my wedding because it could never rain with that much sunshine in such a way that another human being would believe it let alone yeah. appreciate yeah. it no way not in a million yeah. years i mean also in the same way that i couldn't go to someone the way i am dressed right now and say hi i'm tall batman <laughs> right I'm a new batman who's very tall <laughs> yeah like that's that's it's not uh, a thing that they could be you can't deliver that line <laughs> and convince them of it thank you for writing my feelings Say how much you no. relate to the song. No, I couldn't have no. said Travis, just Travis and Justin. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I couldn't have said it. I couldn't have said it better myself. This will connect with so many people. 
This song's about <laughs> sandwiches. Yeah, man. <laughs> You yeah. really summed up how much I fucking love sandwiches. I it's like I wrote it. In fact, give me that guitar. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'll the be suing you, can... you for emotional theft. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so this is where we're starting to get into the meat of it. The way you convey emotion is incredible. Mention the deeper undertones of the song. Um, this is predicated on those existing yeah. and you finding them. Uh, but here's some quotes that you could just probably say one of these two, because I think I've, any song falls into one of these two categories. I can feel your grief in the slow, soft, slow pitch and repetition. Oh, don't. No, no, no. You literally sound like what I imagined happiness to sound like. What? You literally song sound. Is, you literally Like sound. what I imagine happiness to sound like? Yes. Yes. Which Let me implies take that I've sat around and thought, what does happiness sound like? Which may be the most deranged thing. I think it's a beautiful meditation, Trav. I think it what is. What does happiness thing? say things? What is I think it's what a synesthetic. What does happiness sound journey. like? You know, but, uh, the laughter of my children and that song by my friend Jimothy uh, yeah. about the sky or whatever. Yeah, he's got that one. It's called um, "No More Kim Trails," uh, <laughs> and I feel like I wrote it because of all the message of it and the chord progression. Really, it it really explores his grief. Um, so impressed by you. Admire the artist's ability to write a song. Um, you continue to amaze me. Is there anything you can't do? Boring. That beat is out of the world. That yes. beat is out of the world. Yes. Com compliment a specific part of the song. That melody at the end hit hard. There's something so special about that bridge. Um, that is definitely going to get you. I mean, as a songwriter, I feel like I would appreciate that if you get very granular and say something about how that ostinato was out of the world and um, I, very exciting. I think one of the things that this article is not taking advantage of is the power of the ellipses. Mm -hmm. Because you could just say like, oh, that bridge? Oh. Yes. Right? And Leave it's like, something to the imagination. Yes, right? They're going to fill that in. Oh, now, the sound now, of again, happiness. Again, though, we got another... Another binary here, because again, all songs fall into one of these categories. You could say, the fast tempo has put me in the best mood. Describe the mood of the song. When an mm. artist creates music, they create expression, and there's no better way to compliment their work than by complimenting that. Um, so two examples here. Again, any song, you should be able to use one of these two. Girl, that low rhythm has me feeling so zen right now. Mm -hmm. What? That low, low rhythm? That low rhythm? What could a low rhythm be? It's going to be like, I feel like I could run a marathon to that intense beat. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I would rather run a marathon to a low rhythm. Mm, an issue, though, is if you're listening to a song with like a good, like, I don't know, 105 BPM. Yeah. That's an edge case for either one of these. Yeah. Oh, ones. you know what? I have been going about this article all the wrong way, judging it before I thought about what it's really teaching me is the right way to compliment a song someone has just played for me in such a way that they'll never play another song for me again. <laughs> I'll never okay. have to hear another song from your friend. Because any one of these compliments, I don't think that friend is coming back to you for input and feedback on their art anymore. You, you, okay, that's interesting. I wonder if there's a way of doing it that's less mean where it's like, that's the best song you or anyone could ever write. You got to stop now while you are ahead. Um, this is, you've peaked. I, you I think peaked. just clearly being completely inept at music, if I'm like, yeah. man, I love the low rhythm. Um, yeah. I thought the bridge really connected the beginning and ending of the song. Um, yeah. I enjoyed all all the arpeggios. The number of notes used was impressive. Was it perhaps, odd or even? Did you do an odd amount of notes or an even amount of notes? Oh, good choice. Perhaps it was Ketcha who said, this song makes me want to fuck in my car. Yeah. And mm -hmm. that is the highest praise. When I, I hear a, you. When I hear a song with a rhythm that low and a 4-4 four, four time signature, I have to fuck in my car. I could waltz to that or fuck to it. Nice work, bud. <laughs> One in, you, my car. in my car. I want to waltz in my car. I want to waltz you in my car. I want to waltz you in my car. 
Hello, new bop alert? Uplift an artist with an astonished gasp. If you know the singer, be a little comedic with your compliment. Don't be comedic with your compliment. Don't do that. Don't do that. Hello, is it time to call X Factor? I don't know. It is it it's time? It's not on anymore. Is it so time? It's, it's probably not time to call X Factor. <laughs> so guess we know where well, the next is. Well, why make it a ha- question? <laughs> why not, hello, time to call X Factor? Hello, is it time to call X Factor? I don't know, is it? I'm asking You're you. You're putting it on them at that point. <laughs> guess we know where the next hit has been hiding. In my mind? Why have you been hiding this? Hey, how come you're fucking hiding? Why are you being so shady right now? <laughs> Why are you sharing hiding your this hit incredible- with the world? That's bullshit, man. You're being selfish. You knew I was uh, depressed last week. You could have played this sunshine for me then. You waited till now? What the fuck? This fast tempo could have made me go crazy when I was sad last week. You knew week. I was fucking in my car last week, and I was doing it in an unmotivated manner, yeah, lackadaisically per- at best, and I called you and I said, do you have anything? Anything, Anything that could motivate me to fuck in my car better. And you said, no, not. But you told me you've been working on this song for two weeks. God damn it. Um, I got a no. horrible, horrible review on that website I used to do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, one of the last things here is, can you play it again? Ask an artist to perform the song again. Please sing it again. That would be totally on repeat during my morning routine. Play it Please. again, but slower. F- play it again feels like a cheat. To put on here. Cause like, yeah, obviously, but like that's you've lost. You yeah. lost the game. You, you, yeah, yeah. you did not uh, succeed. I you know, I'm I'm just not ready to get feedback on it. I need to digest this a little bit. Yeah. Whoo. Gosh, Ooh. that fast tempo has put me in the best mood. Yeah. As you really lit up a room. Man. <laughs> Quick, yes. love that little rhythm. <laughs> Talk about Real a quick. beat out of the out of the world. <laughs> I want a munch. Squad. I want to munch. Alert. Is a quick, quick alert. This is an alert. Uh, I just and sometimes these alerts are so you can act on this fast. Sometimes it's so a million people don't email me. I'll let you guess about this one. It's not pizza. It's pizza. KFC is bringing the global bestseller to U.S. menus for the first time, February twenty sixth. I okay. sorry, Justin. I thought it was a reference to Jesus the way you said no, it the first it's time. It's not Jesus. That's different. This is Jesus. Okay. Starting February 26th for a limited time, KFC is introducing the international smash hit, the Jitsa. It's a hot two, a hundred percent white meat, extra crispy fried chicken fillets. Top with zesty marinara sauce, melty mozzarella cheese, and crispy pepperoni. We have to have talked about chizza before, right? Yes, it, because it it's came a chicken. From, okay, it came to us from the Philippines in 2015, and it has been in a lot of different countries since then, including Korea, Taiwan, India, Thailand, Germany, Spain, and Mexico, among other countries. And now, the finally, it has been beta tested. For all those other beta countries, and now we're bringing it home to the big dogs, <laughs> and we are yeah. ready for the pizza. Let me tell you. Um, uh, let's see, fried chicken and pizza collaborated to create something even better. The Jitsa. I'm glad those two finally got together. By the way, they've both they've had such huge and storied careers, and I've been like, when are pizza and fried chicken gonna collaborate? And now yeah. they have. According to Nick Chavez, the CMO of KFC US, CMO KFC US, that's what it says. CMO KFC US. The fan favorite mashup is finally available in the US after making its way around the world. Try it while you can, presumably until they are arrested. Okay. Uh, the, 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 uh, they turned a one store in New York City, which it's labeled here as the pizza capital of the US, into a one of a kind. Cheatseria. <laughs> Cheatseria yeah. pop if I ate if I ate one of these, I'd have Cheatseria for a week, man. <laughs> How long do you think the people at KFC went back and forth about whether or not they felt comfortable calling New York City the pizza capital of the world? Oh, they had to definitely run they did some A B testing on that for sure. Uh th- so that is it. That's even it, then it, you it. know there was somebody who was like, It's gonna hurt the Chicago market, sir. Uh, what are you guys uh, now? This is a really, really good question for y'all. I described the menu item to you. How much will you pay for a regular pizza? And it's two patty. It's two chickens. 
Two chicken fillets. A cheese, a cheese cheetah? Or are we cheese cheetah with pepperoni. Two great meats finally coming together. Eight ninety nine. <laughs> All right. Um, I mean, I would rather not pay. I don't want it, but if I were to want it, I would say probably. I'm going to say eleven ninety nine. Wow, it's eleven dollars, guys. You split the uprights. That's amazing. Yeah, eleven dollars to just ten ninety nine. Now there's a small one for six fifty nine, and there is the regular. Well, you didn't cheetah. tell me that, Justin, because sometimes mm-hmm. I just want a little cheetah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, now you can have it, Trav. Enjoy the cheetah uh, on its own, or plus up the experience with the Finally. combo deal, which includes the cheetah, secret recipe fries, and a medium drink. Plus up your cheetah. Plus up your <laughs> it's super good. Plus good times when you every plus boy up and every your girl. Cheetah. Plus up your cheetah. The KFC cheetzeria, by the way, the one in New York, it offers only one menu item: apple seeds. <laughs> <It says> it. <laughs> It's weird. It says it's just you mix up apple seeds by the pound. They love Guys, irony. They love the irony. Yeah. I have not seen a single JPEG, and I'm looking at a lot of them, of this thing in the wild where the cheese is even remotely melted. <laughs> not with my worst enemy's mouth am I going to eat wet chicken with crumbly cheese falling off of it. No fucking way, yeah. man. Me I'm down either, for a me. lot of garbage that we talk about here in this segment. Not with my worst foe's mouth ever. Me neither, because they don't open till 1045. <laughs> So Good I can't Lord. get this DoorDash order going right now. Yeah. Hey, thanks so much for listening to our podcast. We hope you've enjoyed yourself and are going to treat yourself to a pizza for lunch. They have a vegan one. It's called Staying at Home. <laughs> oh, I get it. I see what you're saying there. Um, we've got some exciting announcements, everybody. First of all, it's a new month, which means new merch. We've got a Fungalor sticker pack uh, designed by Dana Wagner who is at Dana Wags on Dana.Wags on Instagram. Naming of the Year poster designed by Samara Jedwa, um, who is Samara Jedwa on Instagram. We've got the little Sailor Man pin of Griffin. If you don't so if you don't want it, I don't know what's broken inside of you. 10% of all proceeds this month will go to the Foundation for Black Women's Wellness, which works to radically transform black women's health by creating a world where black women and girls live long, happy, and thriving lives. Defined by healthy minds, bodies, and spirit. So go check that out at macroymerch.com. Also, in case you missed it, we're coming to Chicago and C2E2. Uh, we're doing two live shows in April. On April 24th, we're doing My Brother, My Brother, and Me. April 25th, we're doing The Adventure Zone. And then April 26th through the 28th, we're going to be at C2E2. Uh, C2E2 badges are available now, but you do not need a badge to attend the live show. Tickets for the shows are on sale now. Uh, you can go to bit.ly slash McElroy Tours for more information and tickets. Um, also, I stream uh, over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash the Travis McElroy. We also do streams and put up video content and a bunch of stuff over on YouTube. If you search for McElroy Family, you can also follow McElroy Family on Instagram to get a lot of information and stuff right to your phone. Hey. I want to thank Montaigne for the sort of theme song, My Life is Better With You. Um, if you haven't heard it, that's wild. Because there's at the beginning. At the beginning and middle and end of every episode yeah. of our show. Um, but you can listen to it whenever you want um, also. And you should because it's a great song. I'm a great person. And I would love to hear if Fungalore would hear a wish today. Can I read this then? Yeah, please. I wish you would. Okay. Oh. I wish my cat would knock it off. <laughs> my name is Justin McElroy. I'm Travis McElroy. I'm Griffin McElroy. It's been my brother, my brother, and me. Kiss your dad square on the lips. Maximum Fun, a worker-owned network of artist-owned shows, supported directly by you.